Hey guys, I've just done an analytical figure drawing with Kirk Online and it was... Yeah, so Kirk is a really nice guy. I found out about this class online through his Instagram. As far as I know, he currently teaches at Art Center, sometimes Brainstorm and sometimes CDA, I'm not too sure. But he definitely knows how to teach and you can tell that he's gone through this process so many times it seems like a very well-oiled machine. <laughs> The class is broken down into 12 weeks, and in each week you learn about a new body part. The first week was gesture, the second week was torso, pelvis. If you go online to his website, you can see the whole syllabus. There were nine people in the class, including me, and each week would put our homework into a file, and that file would be then critiqued later. Classes were taught through Skype and they were scheduled to be three hours long, though a lot of the time we did go overtime. More on this later. It's 7 p.m. week 7 and we're doing legs and Kirk gets on, loads everyone's homework and we begin the class. Full disclosure, every week I only could finish 25 or less percent of the homework because of prior other commitments. During the critique he would draw over on Photoshop and say something like, hey you should uh, make these this knee a box and that your points aren't clear, maybe you can make it clearer by doing this, uh, normal critique kind of stuff. Okay, so Kirk teaches pretty heavily based on construction and I think the idea is that if you can construct the figure you're also able to draw it at any angle that you want to. So yeah, in this video he uploaded four years ago you can even see that he constructs the figure starting from the body and not the head. Unlike um, the, the other analytical figure drawing class I did with Kevin Chen and it's a very different process. I personally like the idea of starting with the body as it is the biggest shape on the human, but that is a very uninformed student opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. Kirk is usually drawing on real paper or on the Cintiq, whichever he feels is better for that lesson slash the students. I consider his lectures to be broken down into three major parts. In this first part, I feel like he goes over the anatomy of the muscle group you're learning for that week. So in this case, it would be like the top of the legs and he would draw it in the main view. So front, side, back, and go over all the muscles in each of these views. So you would kind of understand where they are located in 3D. Yeah, so the diagrams that he does at this section are kind of similar to what you'd find in the Rubens book, except using much simpler shapes. So more towards something you'd see on his Instagram, except not these exact shapes. Part two of the lecture, Kirk is redrawing the forms, except at different angles. And so while the orthographic views he did in part one are really good for knowing where the muscles are, the model isn't necessarily always in these perfect orthographic views. And so I think by breaking down more angles in this section, Kirk's essentially trying to fix your problems before you have those problems. Okay, so the drawings here are extremely similar to the stuff he puts up on Instagram, except with more views and he gets to talk about it. I, I like it a lot. Part three of the lecture. In part three of the demo, sometimes just calling out the geometric forms and showing them isn't enough. So he would load up some images. Thank you, uh, New Masters Academy, for this image in one of the YouTube videos. I'll put the link in the description on this model. Um, if Kirk was looking at it, he might trace over with his mouse or draw over the names of each of the muscles and where they are located. And that way, for sure, you start to understand where these muscles are located on the model. Then in part two of the demo, he goes all in and draws from the model the specific body part you're learning for that week. It seems like he usually does two or three poses um, varying poses and tries to figure out again the problems before you get to those problems. So I personally like to go to a physical class more than doing a class online. In saying that with this online class there's no playing around, there's no like 15 minutes walking into the class, everyone getting sorted, a little bit of chit chat, it's like complete content and I feel like they had been given so much more um, 
information in this online class than any other physical class I've ever taken. In addition, even when he does critiques, there's no physical time limit where all the students are like, oh, I have to go home now because of X, Y, Z. Kirk makes sure every student gets the critique that they need for their homework. And he was almost consistently going overtime trying to do that. Um, ditto with the lecture. So yeah, uh, overall, would I recommend the class? Definitely, definitely so. All I have to say for the video, it was a really good class. I really wish I could have done more homework for it, but I just had too many other things on my plate. I work full time and I'm doing another class at CDA. Um, there were multiple international trips going on, moved houses, whatever, excuses, I know. But yeah, thanks uh, for watching this video and I hope you have a good day wherever you are in the world or night. See you next time. Bye.